this is Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is the first video in a series of videos about working with digital logic. In this video, I'm going to show you different number systems and how to convert between them. Let's get started. There's four main systems that you need to know. Uh, three of them are actually used fairly often. The third is not often used. Uh, the first is binary. And it has the values 0 through 1. It only has two numbers. The next is octal. A lot of books refer to this one. It's not very commonly used. And it has the values 0 through 7. The next is decimal, which we all know. It has the values 0 through 9. And the final one is hexadecimal, often called hex. And it has the values 0 through 9. And in addition, it has A through F. A represents 10. F is 15. All right. Let's say that you want to represent a number in binary. All right. Let's look at um, how a binary number is constructed. So for each digit column, and uh, this is a way that you can work with any number system, really. The first is 2 to the 0. The second one is 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, and 2 to the 6. I'm just going to stop there. Uh, so this represents 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So if I have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. This equals 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 0 plus 16 plus 32. All right, 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 4 is 52, plus 2 is 54. So I am maintaining that these two values are the same. This is binary, this is decimal. Let me show you another way to convert that is, is better, actually. Let's say you have the number 105. All right, and I want to convert that into, uh, into decimal. All right, and at each step, I'm going to uh, divide by 2. So in this case, I have this column here is the remainder column. This is 52, and the remainder is 1. The next column is 26, with the remainder of 0. Uh, the next one is 13, remainder of 0. Next one is 6, the remainder of 1, 3, the remainder of 0, 1 with the remainder of 1. And 1 divided by 2 is 0 with a remainder of 1. We're going to read this one this way. And you can always check your results by, um, by just multiplying them by each step. So this is uh, equal to 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. All right, so that's 1 times 2 times 4 times 8, 16, 32, and 64. Right, 64 plus 32 is 96, plus 8 is uh, 104 and 105, right there. All right. Now let's look at the fractional part. Let's say I uh, 
want to work with 105.625, all right? I'm gonna make some more columns now. We're going to multiply by two instead of divide by two. And 0.625 is what I'm starting out with. Times two, it's 0.125. Zero. This column right here is going to be our answer. Uh, In each case, we're only multiplying by this column right here. We're going to ignore the part that got rolled over into the answer. So 0.25 times 2 is 5, 0, 0. We get a 0 there. Times 2, 1, 0, 0, 0. All right. So now we're all done. We don't have anything else to do after we get all zeros. So in this case, instead of reading up like we did for the whole part, we're going to read downwards. So now our value is 0 0.101, reading this way, 101. Now, you're not always going to have such nice, neat numbers. In that situation, uh, Let's take the value 0 0.31. 0 0.31 times 2 is 0.62. We get a value of 0. 1.24. Uh, point 0.48. 0.96. 1. Uh, eight, nine, two, is that right? Yep. And 1.84. And it's going to go on and on and on and on because 0 0.331 uh, is not a nice divisible number in binary. So at some point, uh, maybe depending on how big your register is or uh, some other factor that you might decide, you just need to call it quits and consider that close enough. All right. Let's look at octal numbers. Octal numbers have 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If you were going to represent these in binary, you need 3 bits because in order to represent 7, you have to have 1, 1, 1. 6 is uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so this column is your octal number. This column is your binary number. If you want to quickly convert between octal and binary, all you have to do, let's say I have the number 437, and I want to quickly convert. Uh, I look at 7, that comes down to 111, 3 is 011, 4 is 100. If I just read the number just like that, one zero 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 one 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 one. That's my value. It's it's just that easy to convert. If I want to go backwards, I just divide it up into groups of three. If let's say I have another digit, a uh, few digits like that, just tack on a zero there. All right. Going back, one 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 seven. This is three. This is four, and this is two. Do hexadecimal, it's the exact same thing, except that instead of having three digits, you have to have four because the value 15 is represented in binary by 1111. So, let's see if I've forgotten anything. I think that should do it. This is Jack Buffington for robotbrigade.com. If you like this video and you'd like to learn more about digital electronics, uh, check out my YouTube, and uh, I will have other videos there for you to take a look at.